Extend Reports is an open source software used for generating test reports in automation testing. It comes with two editions, Community and Pro. What we will be using for this tutorial is Extend HTML Reporter, which comes with Extend Reports version 4. So let's get started. First, we will create a Utils project. Let's also add dependencies for extend reports. For the same run, we want to create a single HTML report, even though the run can have multiple tests. So let's add some code in this extend reporting class. So this is the method where we will start reporting. We need a folder where we want to save the results. In this case, we will have in our test project a results folder. And here we check if the extent reports instance object is created or not. And if not, we create results folder. Then we create the extent reports object. And we also need to create an extend HTML reporter object and pass the path for the results folder. Then we attach this HTML reporter to our extend reports object and that's it. Next we need to create a method which creates a test. So we have our start reporting and create test methods. Now we need also a method to end reporting. And what else we can add in this class are some custom methods to log information in our reporter, like log info, log pass, or log fail. is very useful to have in our reporter is to have a method which can uh, log a screenshot and attach it to our HTML file. And also we have here a method which knows how to log a screenshot. And to do this, we use this media entity builder and call the create screenshot capture from base64 string and pass the image. And at the end, we make sure we call the build method. Let's use now this extent reporting class. First, we will go to test base class and let's see where we have to use this. The first thing is to use it in setup method. So 
So in setup method we call the create test method and here we have to pass the test name in order to get the test name because we are using an unit framework we can call the test context and from here we have access to current context test and method name and that would be all for setup method let's see now in teardown what we have to add in teardown we just make sure we call the end reporting here let's also add the extra method which knows to look at the test status and do some custom actions based on the test status Here we get the test status by looking at test context, current context, result outcome status. And here we also get the message and this is useful for example when we have a test which fails. We want to log the result message in our HTML report. And at the end we just log a message saying the test is ending. Now let's go back in teardown and use this method. Or maybe what we want to add here in our end test method is to take a screenshot at the end of every test. So let's do this. And here we have to pass the image path. We don't have this yet, but let's implement it. So what we can do, let's add in utils project, a class which knows how to get a screenshot. And this is our browser class which needs the driver instance and here it takes a screenshot and returns the image as a base64 encoded string. Now let's go back to our test base and use this get screenshot method. And this is our update to this method to log a screenshot. We call the browser get screenshot method. Next, let's see how can we use this reporter in our tests. So we have this test from our previous session. Let's update it. So simple as this, we log the information when we start the test, for example. And now let's see how can we use the reporter also in page objects.
So using the reporter in our page objects is similar. We start from extent reporting, then we call the method we want to use. What we can do extra is to add a negative scenario and see how this look in uh, test reports. So here I'm just setting the expected message to something which will fail. Actually, let's go in test base class in teardown method and let's call driver quit after we call the end test and end reporting because in end test we take a screenshot and we need the driver. And now let's go to test explorer and give it a run. As expected, we have in Test Explorer the negative test mark as failed and the other test mark as passed. We can also find in our test projects this results folder which has an index.html file. Let's open this in File Explorer and let's open the index.html file. On the left side we find the test cases and we can switch between them by clicking on the test name. And here we find all the steps we have logged in our test and page objects. This is the negative scenario and here we have the message with fails. Here we have expected received failed but was received. And as we remember in end test method we said to take a screenshot. If we want to see the screenshot we have to click on this. And there it is. The same for positive scenario, we have all the actions and here we have the screenshot. And on the left side we also find this dashboard tab where we can find how many test cases have run, when they started, the duration and how many of them are passed and failed. So that would be all for now, thank you very much for your time and see you in the next one, bye.